How big is the data explosion? Consider this. 90% of all the data in the world has been produced in the last two years. That's right. All the data since the beginning of recorded time is equal to the number of tweets, likes, photos, videos, and every other type of digital artifact that's been created in the last few years. And we're just getting warmed up. It's no surprise to learn that demand for storage capacity is rising 80 to 100% every year. So how do you handle all this new data and use it to grow your business without the resources of an enterprise? If you answered, buy another box, we're glad you're watching. High performance storage is costly and stacking it up simply isn't sustainable. To make things more complicated, you have data recovery and compliance to think about too. Enter data tiering. It's affordable because it utilizes your storage more effectively and takes less time to maintain. And it's easily scalable, so it's the perfect size today and tomorrow. So how does it work? Tiering is about figuring out where speed meets need. For example, most of your data just sits there doing nothing most of the time. Therefore, it doesn't need to perform like your active data. When you store everything in one place, every time you search for a file, you're looking through everything you've ever produced. And every time you back up a drive, you're wasting valuable time dragging around a bunch of data that hasn't changed in any way since the last backup. Not so much an issue if we're talking about a few documents, but when you think about it in terms of thousands or millions of files, it's a whole different story. With tiering, you're building a framework for managing your data in an intentional way. And that's empowering for SMBs like you because it allows you to create content. See, data by itself isn't that special, but content is. Content is anything that you can turn your data into, whether it's important business insights like deciphering customer behaviors or an actual service you can sell. It all starts as plain old unstructured bytes. So an organized, intelligent archive is a lot like a content machine, helping you find exactly what you're looking for and then helping you to create the content that creates revenue. Tiering also allows you to build in the security, recovery, and compliance you need to protect your content. So how do you decide what data goes into which tier? Here's a quick guide. Data that needs to be accessed within seconds is kept on the fastest media. This is tier one, or your online data. This tier often utilizes high-speed SSD or HDD technology and gives users instant random access. Data that's accessed less often, but is no less important, goes into Tier 2. Tier 2 data still performs quickly, but the hardware offers greater capacity expansion capabilities. The information in Tier 2 is still available to everyone and stored nearline on RDX removable SATA drives, fixed SATA HDDs, or LTO tape media. Data in Tier 3 may get stored offline or off-site like in the cloud. While this data may not be a part of your day-to-day, -day, it can still have high value under specific circumstances. Tier 4 would handle your cold storage items. Some of this data may never be touched again, but it needs to be retained for a long time. There you have it. By employing a multi-tiered active archive, you get the benefit of a more intelligent infrastructure that gives everyone in your company better visibility and access to your data. And that makes it easier to transform your data into valuable content. And on top of all that, tiered storage even has an overall lower cost of ownership. Developing next generation data management habits makes good business sense. As the IT resource, don't you owe it to your organization to do everything possible to take advantage of the data explosion and open up new opportunities? Visit www.scalablestorage.com to learn more about intelligently managing and protecting your data with a tiered solution.